There's somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 plus percent of women are single, but it's in the neighborhood of 60 percent of men. Why are so many men single? Obviously, it's way bigger than it was 20, 30, 100 years ago. And today, guys, we're so happy to have you back on the Wilson Brothers channel. I'm Isaac. This is David. And guys, we're overwhelmed with the support recently. We love you. It's just sometimes we don't know how to say it. Subscribers, comments, we read all of them. And we're just super happy to be with you guys tonight. We're reacting to Joe Rogan going into depth about why there is a singles epidemic with young men. You know, this is it's really scary stuff. Because uh, I read this uh, statistic recently that said that there's somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 plus percent of women are single, but it's in the neighborhood of 60 percent of men. Really? Yeah. That See if seems you can just find. Really high. I know. In it what does age group? Seem really high. It's uh, you know 18 to 49 or something. Oh wow! Like that. Wow. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it's young it's, men. It's a shockingly high... It doesn't high... make sense, like, why yeah. there's such a disparity between the genders, that men are so much more single than women. Like, that doesn't even jive. Yeah, how does that... How does that... <laughs> there's an obvious reason to me. Uh, it's harder for men to, to get women than it is for women to get men. Well, if 60% if of men are single and 30% of women are single... How does that numbers match up? Oh yeah, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Not cool at all. Well, I mean, because there's not twice as many women as men in the world. There's a lot more women than men, but not twice yeah, as many. Yeah, but the women that are looking for good, strong, capable men, that even narrows the pool down even more. You have overcome the incredible handicap in this business of being men. 30 to 60 percent i'm curious about what's it looks like they're going to pull the uh, study let's, let's see what go they bring. let's go most men are single most young women are not maybe the guys so, are just saying they're single and all the girls are like we're in a relationship it is just a research right so it's just a, a survey i would imagine 30 percent of u.s adults are neither married living with a partner nor engaged in a committed relationship nearly half of all young adults are single 34 percent of women and a whopping 63 percent of men like wow how does that work My, how does it work if there's roughly 50 percent women 50 percent men how could 34 percent of women be single and 63 percent of men be single. It says, not surprisingly, the decline in relationships matches a stride with the decline in sex. The share of sexually active Americans stands at a 30-year low. Around 30% of young men reported in 2019 that they had no sex in the past year, compared to about 20% of young women. Only half of single men are actively seeking relationships or even casual mm. dates, according to Pew. That figure is declining. What if, like, the women thought they were in a relationship and the guys are like, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what we could say. Single, about. I mean, I know why. I think I know why it is. Pornography is a huge cancer with men. Well, I, I think the reason that this stat is so, so big right now is because women often think they're in a relationship and the guy doesn't. We love each other and we're good together. Yeah, I mean, there's that, but there's also the stigmatizing or the, the gross nature of pornography. Uh, men, it, when they consume huge amounts of pornography, their sexual desire to go out and have real intimacy with a woman goes way down. And then piggybacking off of that, men are often less likely to go up to women now. Yes. Because they're afraid because of everything we've talked about in past videos. They just don't feel the courage to go up. Approach this person and introduce yourself without being creepy. I would guarantee that if there was a study out there that men are more likely to sit at home and to be depressed. I think more men are quote depressed than ever in history before. And what happens when you're depressed? Your, your self-esteem goes down. And I think that's one of the reasons why they won't ask uh, men out or ask women out anymore. I want to read off a statistic for you real quick. And I think this directly correlates to what you're talking about, men staying at home and be, not being as sexually active. The total number of OnlyFans creators and fans has continued to grow. The number of total creators is 3.2 million in 2022, up 47% from 2.2 million in 2021. The number of total fans was 238 million in 2022, up 27% from Jeez, 188 dude. million in 2021. So men are sitting at home on their phones, paying women to take their clothes off on OnlyFans, not getting that in-person intimate connection that he's talking about. Like, 
Our parents didn't have to deal with this. Grandparents, they didn't have, the internet wasn't prevalent back then. They actually had to go out and find somebody. I was genuinely seeking um, human interaction. Make that genuine connection. A lot of times it was long distance relationships. In today's society, if a woman wants to be in a relationship, it's much easier than a guy. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. So guys are the ones that are pursuing but women as they call them the gatekeepers they're the ones that can say no to sex they can say no to relationships and so if a woman wants to be in a relationship she's able to and i think also women naturally want to be in a relationship more than a guy they want to be taken care of they want to have that connection guys are more of a quick fix and get it out the door kind of thing which is a horrible thing in our society right now but men and women are so different in the way that they want to feel love and well i mean last thing i'll say our previous video with talking about why there's so high divorce rate is that there's so many options now yeah. comparably with social media, online dating, swipe culture. That's a, a lot that goes into it. You have the just, I can just find somebody that's better looking, you know, better it's, qualities. It's and horrible, physical man. Qualities. It's horrible. Maybe the women aren't being honest. Maybe they've gone on a date with a guy and they decide that's their boyfriend. I don't know. I think the more shocking thing is just that more in general are single, less people are having sex and are engaged in meaningful yeah. long-term relationships. I think that's, you know, there's it's just an increasingly, I feel like we're becoming more atomized, like you just kind of can get lost in your world and you get these pseudo communities popping up. Like if I'm a board Ape Yacht Club member, I could call, you know, I might say, those guys are my brothers. <laughs> But but are they are they really like, NFTs? What, is, what are what are these new commu internet communities doing right, and what are they not really replacing in the real world? Because basically, what that's what we've done. We've replaced a lot of physical things mm -hmm. with online things, and sometimes that replacement works. Like I can you know I can kind of but it, sometimes it doesn't. Like I can like FaceTime with my mom, and it's like kind of the same, but it's not it's not really. It's a little annoying. It's a little annoying, right? And they're getting yeah. better at it, but it's like, it's always kind of like this like facsimile of the real thing. And so I think this replica AI is like, it's sort of this like, it's trying to treat loneliness in people. Yeah. Maybe you could, in the, that's the nice way of looking at it. Um, but it's kind of, it's pretty dystopian, man. It is dystopian. And one of the things that I think uh, accelerated it was the lockdowns, right? So for, especially people that had a lot of anxiety, there was people that went a year plus without being in contact with other people other than their yep. immediate family members. Mm. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I didn't think about the lockdown down mechanism. You got used to being by yourself. I want to disagree with CoffeeZilla a little bit because it's not just about what's, what's, what's the switch off from the real world to the internet world. Nothing will ever replace genuine human connection oh he even said that with his grandma i mean with his ma he could be facetiming her and it's not the same as being in person well joe rogan said it's still not the same yeah right he, so he agreed yeah he agreed but the, it's it's a it's a light brushing over for me that i have a problem with you're never going to be able to replace those in-person genuine human connections that you have with people eye contact feeling their presence being with them not having your phone on the table at dinner you know those little things that are so overlooked today so overlooked. they're so overlooked and they're and we compromise for for being for feeling comfortable yeah for what what is actually beneficial mm -hmm. i don't want to sacrifice i don't want to be comfortable and sacrifice what's beneficial mm -hmm. and I, I think that's what the issue is i agree and they seek more time online they're on online more and at the same time this AI generated 3D image of a person is communicating with you. Just that and then and then the rise of like like parasocial relationships, you know, they Working people from watch home. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. People watch so much of online people, they think they know you and like and they don't. Mm. But but they feel like you're their friend rather than ha them having like online relate I was I was hanging out with a few friends, um, and you know they got approached by some people and these guys like felt like they knew them like they're like oh we know you like i love all your stuff mm. that what do you think about they're asking about one of their friends like what do you think about when this guy did that and i'm thinking like this guy doesn't know you like right it's but it's this strange thing where that's our that's our new world did you hear about that trend in japan where these influencers are just eating 
food and people all around the world are just watching them eat food <laughs> and they feel like they're having genuine connection with them by just watching them eat well people would rather in today's society watch someone do something than do it in the, than do it themselves comfortable replacing what's actually <sighs> beneficial i never want what's comfortable to replace what's beneficial in my life because what's beneficial might require a little bit of suffering and a little bit of extra hard work, men, <laughs> to get up and do what's right. It's not always easy. If, you, if, it's, if your life is easy, then you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong, all right? You're doing something wrong. That was my life. I was just living. I was, I was just existing. I wasn't actually pushing for what I knew I could be. I had men in my life that were challenging me, but at the end of the day, it's my choice to take their advice and say, no, I'm actually going to stand up for what's right. I'm going to go and do the right thing. I'm going to push myself past the boundaries of what I thought was possible. That only comes through pain and suffering. And men suffer more in, in their minds, and not necessarily more than women, but we just suffer differently. We well, don't we talk suffer about it. in silence. We don't that, talk that, about it. That's the difference. We, in our minds, go deep, yeah. right? Whenever I'm struggling with something deep, the most difficult thing is for me to actually express it to my wife. Yeah. That's one of the most difficult things in the world because I just want to wallow or I just want to try to figure it out myself, which should be a lot of the times the option is just to burrow down and figure out how can I fix this? But we do suffer in a lot of different ways and we struggle to reach out for help. We struggle to talk with somebody else that can help us in these situations. But this sexual pa pandemic of online content is absolutely out of control. It's absolutely out of control. 63% of men are uh, single, and it was what, 30%? 30% of, of women are single. Women want to be in a relationship, so they can then be in one. Men are the ones that have to be the one to make that first step most of the time. And so it should be all of the time. It should be all the time. So, man, we want to challenge you to step outside of what's comfortable. If you are struggling with pornography, you can overcome that. And if you think that is not a problem, then I'm sorry, but it is a problem. And if you're <laughs> having that problem, our email address will be in the comments or the description. Yeah, we'll, 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 we want to reach out. Or reach shoot, out to us. Shoot us an email. Let us know what you're going through. We'll provide you with some resources that have helped both of us to be able to walk this journey of freedom. Guys, this is a pandemic of sexual promiscuity and it's not going away. You have a choice as a man to stand up and say, no, I'm not going to indulge in whatever feels right in the moment just so I can get off and, and bust a nut. That's <laughs> not the point. That's not the point. I mean, man, you could bust it up right now if you wanted to. Is that beneficial for your life? Is that going to help you get to where you need to be? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. So don't bust a nut. Do what's right. Be a man and join us on this journey, guys. Sure. <laughs> My favorite thing is Isaac's like, men, I'm going to challenge you. You need to change the world. But we love you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how men do. That's how we men know. are, man. We, we show love through directness. We will be intense on this show. We'll say some things that are going to stir up the pot. But we do it out of love because we want you guys to become better. We're going to push you to be better. We won't... Pr we won't compromise who we are to speak truth. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. We have other reaction videos right here and here. This reaction video is about Joe Rogan talking about how social media is destroying marriages. And right here, we did street interviews about do we even need masculinity today? So we appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Peace. Peace.